Do you find it difficult branding yourself personally and your business? Um, I focus on brand on the personal branding um, myself, and I think there needs to be a personal brand attached to the business. You need some something or someone to personify um, your business because, especially as the market starts to get a little crazy here, which it will, and um, it's going to be bad. <laughs> but when the market does go um, go down. People will continue to do business with people that they know, trust, and like. Like with me, like I don't come out of a meeting and I'm like, hey, I just sold these policies and here's how I did it. I'm just talking about the basic concepts of success and hard work and, and, and all these things. But I also do other things that, that I find interesting and, and I document that process. And so that when people see me, they're getting to know me. Yeah. They're not getting to know me, the insurance guy. They're not getting to know you, the mortgage guy. Right. But by getting to know you as the person and they get to know and like you and trust you, when they are buying a house, they'll probably remember that you're in the mortgage business. Right. And because you've been putting out content and they've been seeing you constantly and they feel like they actually know you, especially as the market gets difficult, which it's going to get difficult in the mortgage industry in the next few years. <laughs> but people will continue to do business with people that they like and people that they feel like they actually know. You can generate incredible amounts of leads um, online and through social media for your insurance business, but it all gets back to the Gary Vaynerchuk model of jab, 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 right hook. The jab, the jab, the jab is provide value, provide value, provide value, provide value. And then the right hook is when you ask. Notice that I said the right hook is not when you sell. Because just because you provided value to someone, and just because you may have provided value to someone for months, maybe even years, doesn't entitle you for them to buy, doesn't give you any entitlement for them to actually purchase what you're selling, but it earns you the right to ask. I did over 400 Facebook Lives the first, uh, the first year, 2017. Uh, it's because I wanted people to get to know me, the real me. You can only fake it for so long when you're live. And so those people that you're not talking about it on a regular basis, but they know that you are in that industry, they're gonna come to you when the opportunity arises and they need someone. So it's, it's more about building your brand about your life. It just so happens that mortgage is a third of your life. Yeah. Uh, so what's the other two thirds and what are you doing that's interesting outside of it? Yeah. It's all about providing value. And here's the thing, you're providing value without any expectation in return. You're providing value never expecting to get anything in return but with the understanding that it always comes back. It's kind of weaving your life in with your business. You know, it, it kind of takes me to this place where, where you know, so many people talk about, um, you know, I'm looking for like the perfect opportunity. And when I can find out what I'm passionate about, then I'll go all in or, or then I'll start documenting. Then I'll start, you know, building my brand. And what I've found is that if you become passionate about what you are doing, you can find things about it that are interesting and it doesn't have to be so specific to your industry.